Hey everyone, before this episode starts, it's important to remember anything we say on this podcast should be taken as a bad joke and should not be taken seriously, ever. Take your balls. Welcome to our podcast, Slightly Diverse, and this is episode 59. I'm your host, Clockwork Genesis, and today with me is Bordelin. Yeah. And Monkey Milk. I guess fuck that guy. What, uh, you didn't hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Argus didn't come today because he's a little bitch. Playing with his, his brother's balls again and looking at them, hypnotized. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're, they're going back and forth like Newton balls. He's slobbering. He's slobbering like a dog looking at a T-bone. <laughs> Listen, when you like what you like, you can't help it. Don't pick on the man. I'm not picking on him. I'm just telling the truth. That's just what's happening. <laughs> I guess. Anyways, can you introduce yourself now? Oh, <laughs> uh, I introduced myself first. Yeah, she did. Did I can't? I yes. did. You're not paying the fuck attention. I'm eating a delicious burrito. <laughs> a delicious Listen, I've been of... wanting a burrito. Why you gotta tease me like this? Delicious hot bowl of burrito. Mm -hmm. Listen, no one wants an HBOC like you. Get over yourself. Mm, delicious cum. It. Delicious cum filling. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. You don't want cum fill. You want like a cum filled burrito. Not a burrito. What if your husband like put like like a tortilla around his cock? <laughs> for you, babe. At him. I would look at him like, what the yeah. fuck is wrong with you? Around his cock. <laughs> would that what upset you? <laughs> yeah, what hot sauce? <laughs> nah, he wouldn't do that. He he likes himself too much. <laughs> that would be horrible if you, if someone put hot sauce in their penis. Yeah. You ever heard of Tiger Bomb? That was a Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb is kind of like Icy Hot, but a lot worse. Mm. Imagine having that on your hands, forgetting about it, and going to the bathroom. Jesus. Yeah. My red hot pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just like burns a hole through the toilet. <laughs> it starts pouring all over the place. That'd be fucking cool. That'd be my superpower. I don't think that would be too cool. If I could be an X Man, I would want to piss so so hot that it burns like the concrete and metal. I and feel stuff. like you would get uh, put in jail more often because then you'd be publicly exposing yourself to people. But I'm an X Man, so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I could be. I could do whatever I want. I'm a hero. I'm like, but by like all the means, boys. stop Magneto yourself, everybody. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if you're so disgusted by my micro penis being pissing all over the place, by all means, take it. <laughs> take it up from here. I don't think we'd have to worry too much. It's not like much would get anywhere with it being micro. How dare you? How dare I? You're the one who brought it up. You think you think if you had a micro penis, you would get a lighter sentence for exposing yourself? <laughs> Possibly, because then you wouldn't be exposing much. You'd be like, oh, bush. <laughs> In fact, they might not even notice you're exposing yourself. Like, hey, your your happy show is always no, that that's my those are my pews and my balls and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What would your X Men power be, Borlon? Um, it would be I pull metal shards out of my ass at supersonic speeds. Mm. Of course, it would be. Your name would be um, Sharp Ass. The anal bullet, right? Because your your shards are like are like bullets. They call you the anal bullet. That'd be cool. I don't know. I don't know anymore. You changed my name. I, I, I'm having an identity, identity <laughs> crisis right now. 
I think if I had a superpower and was an X Men, it would probably be every time I stomp, earthquakes happen, and I call myself Thunder Thighs. Mm. Ew. Captain Cankles. Captain Cankles. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't have cankles. <laughs> yeah, but that's how you generate force. <laughs> true, true. I guess so. That'd be horrible. You'd have to be like in a wheelchair all day because you don't want to shatter everything around you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's Professor Xavier with the thunder thighs. At least for me, all I have to do is piss on a wall and it melts it a, a bit, but uh, not enough. To You'd know. have to piss on the wall a few times to get anywhere. I'd, yeah, I'd basically have to have to like spread my piss around the building so I don't burn it all completely through like a big hole. <laughs> <laughs> we're but, just gonna be walking by and they're gonna look at the building and be like what's this crack that's formed all the way around in a perfect circle yeah i I'd, I'd have to get like a like a bottle of water and like and like pour pour it all over where my piss stream's going <laughs> so it's less concentrated <laughs> that'd be cool I don't know about you, but uh, that doesn't sound too cool to me. What would our team Where, name be? Um, dipshits. What do you think, Warlock? What should it, what should the team name be? Our team name. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, let me think, because you you always give me crap over whatever the fuck I name. I don't know. I give up. Call it Worm Odyssey. Call it, uh, Stinky. There you go. The Stinkies. <laughs> I like how Genesis is like, the only one with like a useful power. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's always a woman pulling the team anyways. What would Argus's power be? I hear uh, Generating can, HBOCs from no, Portal no, to no, create his power. No, 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 he can easily identify what gender is which. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like the generating HBOCs better, personally. He goes to like a transgender convention. He's like, You're a male. He's like, man, like woman, How man, dare woman, you? Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's an expert. How about, how about, Argus is an expert at hurting people's feelings. Like, you know, he could say anything and it would make them cry and make them upset. <laughs> Fuck. Well, he's like, he's like talking to the villain and then we sneak around and I start pissing on the guy's head. You shoot him with your anal bullet. And then Genesis just starts stomping around to make him fall. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like I'm just going to shake things a little bit. <laughs> we 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 beat the bad guy, save the day. Roll credits. And then the X Men look down on us because we're so fucking badass. Solve every problem. <laughs> more like we just created twenty times more problems. You're the one that created problems. We, we, <laughs> us three have good synergy. <laughs> You're peeing a hole through the earth. How is that good no, energy? No, no, it's like it's like a super strong acid. It's not, it's not, it's not corrosive enough to like drill through a hole like a lightsaber. Like I have to like piss on someone for a while before it starts really melting them down. You know. <laughs> so basically, you're just gonna stand over them for a few hours. Yeah, but while while he's distracted, Argus is Argus is like keeping his attention by calling his mom gay and stuff, and <laughs> like making him cry and shit, right? Bullying him basically, <laughs> and Vorlon shooting at him <laughs> with his ass. <laughs> I imagine Vorlon like you like slap your butt cheeks, and like every time you slap your butt cheek, a bullet comes out. <laughs> I can see that too. <laughs> or or I, I, I twerk and it comes out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking You'd cool. have to have some junk in the trunk to twerk. <laughs> you start twerking. <laughs> Listen, just imagine if he had a, a bubble butt and every time he twerked and his cheeks clapped together, bullets came out. Fucking badass, dude. 
So I, I would I would like it even more if you start twerking to like songs that don't make sense for twerking. Like you're listening to like a country song, you start twerking to it. No, it's, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, through the window by Tiny Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so evil. <laughs> Tiptoe through the window. Yeah. <laughs> We're a good team, dude. We would go. To, we would meet the president with our with our skills. <laughs> Like, oh my god, Thanos is coming. It's like, don't worry, guys. We got this. We show up and the be- <laughs> we and tell the Avengers anybody to leave. Else, save us or Thanos, just I do think... whatever you're going to do quickly. I think Thanos would run away crying, feeling like he was going to get violated in some way, thanks to Milk. Like, listen, no, yeah. listen, Iron Man. We're overrated. We got this. We, we can handle this like nobody's business. And then Argus just starts roasting the shit out of Thanos. <laughs> he starts crying. <laughs> I feel like Argus would just end up circling back around to your micro penis, though. Thanos, you got a you got a purple, delicious looking cock. Delicious. <laughs> and then Thanos gets flashbacks hey, he's gotta and he's make molested. HBOCs for you somehow. <laughs> That ain't even his power. I mean, can't be, we went over this. No, Argus's power is roasting people when they cry. Listen, I know, but they could cry and do other things at the same time. <laughs> so he's finessing them and making them cry. Yeah, part of our training was strengthening each other. You're describing him using his powers and then gooning at the same time for some reason. He doesn't even have to do it. <laughs> I was talking about making someone else do it, <laughs> not him. <laughs> <laughs> is it that black guy like 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 starts stroking his cock is like yo 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 what's up day <laughs> uh this reminds me of a time i took a buddy home late at night and he decided to look out the window and he just happened to see this dude going ham on his shit behind a dumpster yeah at least he was behind the dumpster <laughs> yeah, you know how many times I got I got caught in a children's playground. Oh, what, Portland? I I hey, I, I don't hear it from you, Mister. I'm gonna distribute porn to children. I never did that. Yes, you did. <laughs> Distributing implies I sent it directly to them. <laughs> I'm more I'm more like a uh, what's what's it called? Like a mural artist. <laughs> 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 Or I, 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 I showed, I showed uh, the big black lady putting her big tits on the ginger girl, <laughs> right? Yep. And then people, people had a had a bad reaction to. It. Can't blame the artist for that. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had, I had to be, be your fucking, I had to be your lawyer for that. Those guys are bitches for for making a big deal out of it. To be honest. <laughs> That's what I think. It's just a bit of trolling, just a bit of banter. You, How is you it just it? a bit of trolling if you are the troll? Yeah, that's what exactly. It was just a bit of trolling. Take it easy. I mean, does a troll ever know not to troll? <laughs> no. No, a tro- a troll dumbass here time. completely forgot there were minors, even though he met one of them, and we told him that that, that kid's a minor. I think the real problem is that 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 video at first glance does look evil <laughs> cuz the black woman what do you is so mean look much... evil don't look go look go scroll up look at the big black lady laying her big tits on I've the, seen uh... it I was making a pun of it doesn't look <laughs> evil it is evil <laughs> what, okay, it's, just, it's just because it's like a colossus standing it's it's like when you see Shaq standing next to like I don't know Kevin Who's Hart this? Kevin Hart yeah like Shag next to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart looks like, like a baby, but he's not. He's a he's a four year old man. Never. <laughs> You're a forty year old man. If, if you saw Shag and Kevin Hart walking down the street, like, oh, that's his. That's a father with his son. <laughs> right at first glance, like, with oh no, that's Shag with facial Kevin hair. Hart. Yeah. <laughs> that was the, that was, that was why they got upset. I think. Had I posted the. Uh, Damn it. The big the. the the strong woman ripping her tits out. I think that would have been that would have gone out over better with the audience. <laughs> Basically, they took my mural down. They they painted over it. 
I'm like Banksy, right? <laughs> you know Banksy? Probably not. <laughs> Banksy is like a like a graffiti artist where he like paints like a, like little murals randomly around around the city of New York, but nobody knows who he is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Anyways, <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, no clue. Uh, oh, yeah, Argus gooning for some reason while roasting the oh, villain. <laughs> no, him roasting the villain so bad that like he somehow convinces them to goon. Oh, I see what you mean. He's like he's like sending him some liminal messages to Goon. <laughs> exactly. Because then Bordelon needs to ingest it so he can create his ass bullets. But he already he already he already twerks. If anything, I have to consume com to, <laughs> to be. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want it to be, it's just not gonna be me. No, well, you're already you're already like you're like a paraplegic basically in a wheelchair, yes. and you have to like. It like lift your leg up and then slam it into the ground to generate shock waves. <laughs> oh my god, Hager, here we go. What are you doing, Borlon? Nothing. Sucking dick. Nothing. Yeah, I'm sucking dick. He's like, oh jeez, this guy's really gooning. I feel like he might be driving back to Waterburger. Are you? No. What are you doing for reals these days? I'm playing Tony Hawk. Hmm. We should make a mod for that game. Well, they already have Creative Park, so. No, we're like, you play, play like as a. Uh, as Tony know, Hawk? Like, like Sonic or something, or something cool. Oh. The <laughs> only Tony Hawk game I've ever played was Skate 2. That's not a Tony Hawk game. That's not a Tony Hawk game. It has Tony Hawk in it at some point. The I don't fucking Tony remember. No, it doesn't. Does it? I don't fucking remember. It's been, it was so long. I remember my parents had a Tony Hawk game. I just put like that with that because it was the a only Tony Hawk game, game I played. Was game. Was the last skate game. How the fuck up, Bordelin, you were The last skateboard game you played was Skate 2. <laughs> You're the one with special ed. You said Tony Hawk's and Skate too. Tony Hawk's yeah, name is always I'm stupid. I'm not special ed. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't you got caught with your pants down game just now. I, I played was Listen, was I'm stupid. Goose. I'm not special ed. That's <laughs> but yeah, anyways, the Tony Hawk game I played was an orgy. Yeah, the last one I played was Overwatch 2, but... <laughs> 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 but no, Tony Ox. Every, every single game Tony Ox involved in, for the most part, is, is he has his name. Ah, well, uh, then I probably am most definitely wrong. I don't it think literally uh, says Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I don't think he shows up to skate too. I just I can't remember. I remember at some point that there are like specific skaters that show up. Bam Margera, but they didn't put him in this game because of the shit he got into. Yeah, I don't think any of them show up in Skate 2. I think they have, like, I think they maybe have, like, Rodney Mullen in Skate 2. I don't remember. Skate 2 was awesome, though. That was the best one. I think that one's better even than Skate 3. Even though Skate 3's multiplayer is better. Skate 2 In all just honesty, any time me and my family played Skate 2, it was just Hall of Meat. Mm. Yeah, I wanted to get Skate mainly because of all the, like, like different shit you can do. There's that game, um, Skater XL. That was pretty fun. Played that for a while. Is, is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Why would you you disagree? Uh, I actually don't know anything about it. I was just wondering if I could press you into changing your answer. It has similar controls to Skate. But it's, I've never played. It's oh my god! More, it's a bit more refined. It's like it's basically a bit more refined than skate. Only mm. th only bad thing about it is that you kind of have to. Uh, I mean, the last time I played it, this was before they added multi. You have to like download a mod to play player. So 
but uh, people made like some really cool maps in that. Mm. Mm -mm. Were you a skater, Genesis? I used to longboard, but it wasn't for a super long period in time. What about you, Borlon? I feel like you would be a skater. I tried. Wasn't good at it. Gave up. Same. <laughs> I was too fat. I was too big. I think skateboarding is cool. In all honesty, mm. whenever I was into skating at the time, I was more into reading and doing my art than anything. Mm. So, like you liked the idea of being a skater more than actually being a skater. Yeah, because there <laughs> were other things that had my attention more. Skater boy, the skater boys are hanging out. It's out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus! Look at their tits. I had a friend. I have a friend who who was really into skating. He still skates to this day. That's pretty cool. He's pretty good yeah. at it too. Mm -hmm. I'd say the the biggest thing about skating is that it's really one of those things where like you have to get used to uh, breaking arms and shit. <laughs> Yeah. Like when you mess up, and I'm, I don't know if I was willing so, to do that. I'm not sure if you remember me telling you this, but I said that I got a tattoo based off of Tony Hawk's games. Uh, it's a Neversoft logo. And the reason why is because he did his last trick and fully retired. I didn't know this part where he was doing that trick mainly for the new remastered versions of uh, Pro Skater 1 and 2, because I just see it in the intro. The big like 681, right? It was 720. Yes, yes. That's fucking crazy that he does. Yeah, dude made his entire living off of a of a really like a a casual sport. Mm -hmm. And 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 it's funny because he became a legend for it. And it, it's funny because people will meet him in real life and not know it's him. He's having the worst time of his life. What do you mean worst time of his life? He's rich. He has children. He, <laughs> it, it, it's practic he's practically a ghost. Like people will meet him and be like, and be like, "Do you look like this this famous white dude that used to skate around?" <laughs> and and he has to re reply in snarky snarky comments because he he's just so over at this point. It doesn't mean he's having the worst life. This is why I think you wouldn't be the worst with fame. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow people not recognizing you in public is a bad thing. If anything, Tony Hawk probably doesn't give a shit. He's like, yeah, whatever. People are always. He doing probably this. doesn't want people to recognize him. Yeah. Well, he actually just doesn't care. But it's funny because he constantly has the conversation of, uh, it's like I think he said there was one instance where he was at an airport, and then somebody checked his his ID, and then they're like Tony Hawk. Like that skater guy, even though he's talking directly to the fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it would annoy me too if I, if I was Tony Hawk and people were like, oh, are you that? Dude, I'd be like, no, I'm not. <laughs> just, just because like with, with... if you were an actual fan, you would know. Like, I'm not going to sit here and convince you that I am. <laughs> just, just like with what's happening with Jackie Chan, because Jackie Chan gets annoyed. I can't show you visually what, uh, what happens to him. But apparently when people see him, they, they do a fucking karate pose. They're like, look, it's Jackie Chan. And they do the fucking pose. Mm -hmm. And he goes, he actually said in an interview, he's like, I really don't like that. It looks so fucking weird and cringy. <laughs> What's crazy about Jackie Chan is that here in the United States, right? Like he's like, he's a celebrity. He's really big, but he's not like the biggest names ever. But in China, he's like the fucking Beatles. <laughs> like everybody yeah. swarms him. He's like Taylor Swift over there, basically. <laughs> yeah. Love Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan loves you too. I'm sure Jackie Chan is a so. very sweet guy. 
I think it was funny that there was a moment when Jackie Chan fanboyed over Bruce Lee. Everybody loves Bruce Lee. Oh yeah. I mean, he was in the it was in the movie got whacked in the fucking head by by Bruce. Yep. So. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. I like when Bruce Lee grabbed Chuck Norris's uh, chest hair and fucking. What happened? Yanked it out or yanked it off his chest. What do you mean that didn't happen? That did happen. The movie. He didn't yank it. He didn't. He didn't do an immediate wax job on him. But that happened in the movie. When they're fighting, when he's fighting Chuck Norris, and then he grabs his his chest hair and he rips it out. Then he like he like like goes like like that to get the hair off of him. God, remember that. <laughs> oh, it didn't fucking happen. <laughs> yes, it did. When they're fighting in Rome, this is this is why you're see, a fake fan, you, <laughs> fake fan of Bruce Lee or about... Chuck Norris. <laughs> see, the only in, time in, I watched in Chuck Way Norris of the Dragon, I didn't. In Way of the Dragon, Bruce Lee fights Chuck Norris. Oh wait, Chuck I lied. Norris. I have watched Best Chuck there. Norris in um, Walker, Texas Ranger. Right. I remember Walker, Texas, Texas Rangers, there was like a weird scene where like this this little black girl who everyone loved and adored got uh, killed in a drive-by. And then when she's in the hospital and everyone's like, well, she might not recover. And then suddenly a holy light touches her and she's immediately like fully healed. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, she's back. She's an angel. I was like, this. what the fuck is this show? I was wrong. He doesn't, he doesn't shake it. He doesn't wiggle his hands. He actually pulls it off sexily. Video, I just got told you. What are you talking about? Rips his fucking chest hair off. You are fucking insane. Hold on, <laughs> you're gonna feel dumb when I when you look at that video. My favorite movie from, from Bruce Lee is The Chinese Connection. I think it has like two names or something. I remember it as Chinese Connection. The one that we had. Yes. Why does it say this is a man shit at the end? He barely fucking... <laughs> There's like barely any hair removed. He just blows off of his hand. Still. Or rips it off. Yeah. yeah. better than none. Did I, did I say a shit ton? Did I say he fucking scalps his chest? No. <laughs> I said he rips his hair off. Yeah, you said, said he ripped it off. Like, this bar- you barely see it. But what? No, it practically never happens. It, it was just you're you're retarded. <laughs> you're just trying to move the goalpost around, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a carny and I'm ripping you off. You're like, no, no, it doesn't count because it wasn't enough. It has to be actually be like two pounds worth of chest hair to be removed. Well, you Shut said up. something else. <laughs> he has to get a razor blade out and shave his chest there sexily. <laughs> yeah. I forget yeah, we... that I have a streaming keyboard and occasionally the buttons get pressed for the streaming noises and it scared the shit out of me. Streaming keyboard? What the hell does that mean? What? What does that even mean, streaming keyboard? So my, the keyboard that I use is the K100 by Corsair. It has a um, soundboard. Uh, well, it's got six keys that you can program to either pull things up, make noises, or have little reactions. And I have uh, certain sounds set for them for spooky games. Mm. And I forgot all about them. And my kid came over and pressed one, and it scared the shit out of me. God damn it. Damn it! It was like, oh, I'm about to blow. Like that. The spooky sounds. Yeah. It's dreamy bull. It was like, oh my totally. god. <laughs> I love that one. Oh my god. And then his eyes blow up all big. <laughs> like he's horrified. <laughs> god fucking damn it. <laughs> Listen, just get good, scrub, and then you won't have to, you know, be so bad. You have to, you have to, you have to channel Tony Hawk's energy oh, out of you. Why? You have to be Tony Hawk. Portland's over here shitting his pants trying to be Tony Hawk. 
I'm, I'm literally on my, on, I'm on camera at work and they can see me stressing out and they're definitely going to fire me for this. You're more of a Bam Margera fan. Ugh, no. <laughs> Not even when he beat up his dad. Bam Margera is like the dumbest person on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. It's weird. It's weird that Steve-O who was like the most insane one out of all of them, got his shit together and like has a nice life now. <laughs> yep. And Bam Margera, who lives on a ginormous farm and is super rich, is like is like somehow became like the there, the drug addicted no fucking crazy way. person. Oh my god. Those are my shit. I can't get to this one fucking point, and I'm literally going on the fucking platform. So who's this cringe lady? Oh, Ooh. she's all right. So I was on Instagram and I was just going through looking at cringe, and I see this chick who like I don't know what she does to be honest. She, she says that she's like a musician no. slash producer. I'm not gonna name. I'm not gonna name them because it would be mean. But uh, yeah, I've heard the music. That she made, or she even helped to make, and it's it's all terrible. And this well, chick, you don't have to name her. No, I'm not naming her. This you chick, one of, link one of the those music. NPC chicks. No, because even if I share the link to the music, people are gonna fucking. <laughs> she one of those NPC chicks. No, she's she like wants to be like a cool like punk rock chick, and like her biggest like appeal was that she has a tooth missing, and then she shakes her ass. It's like one of those things. It's like it's like oh, one of those. I it's like a such a Californian thing where like it's more important that you look cool rather than being talented. There is no fucking way. And it's so pretentious. So it's so horribly pretentious when when you see this shit. Like musicians who play like I, crap and they shit. suck at the instruments they play. Stop talking about Tony Hawk when I'm talking. Fuck you. <laughs> they play like crap. They don't practice. And. Uh, they mostly put like most of their effort into like looking cool on Instagram. It's just cringe. But anyways, I follow her now. I like every, I like every, I like every post they make. <laughs> she makes. You but... follow her and you like everything that she posts. <laughs> you sound kind of like a little bit of a fan guy. No, I love cringe, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, he is cringe. I love cringe. I ingest cringe every time I find something new that I hate with all my soul. I have to, I have to go watch it. But uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Cringe. I wanted to also talk about like, like things I've seen from like local bands where like How the fuck? they are exactly the same. And but it's even worse because when like, you're a local band, you're not even that famous, and you're acting this way, you're acting too cool for school. <laughs> you going like we don't have to practice because we're badasses and are sounds like this awesome. kid that i went to school with who thinks he's the hottest fucking rapper yet he's still trying to sell his cds by hand to everybody it's just so obnoxious it's like maybe instead of pretending to be cool you just practice more make something cool <laughs> let let the work speak for itself basically is what i'm saying oh, 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 oh. that's one of the reasons like when i listen to new music I refuse to like look at the look at the music video stuff because I feel like if the if the song has a good music video, it like tricks your brain into thinking you like it, but really you only like the music video. I feel like to judge music fairly, you have to like listen to like three times, you know, sure. like once for the first yeah, impression, second for like. Really analyzing it, then the third for your final thoughts on it. With, the, with hopefully zero visual stimulation, because that would that can like skew your your idea of it. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, music. I like music a lot. I like rock. I like I like rock. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to a hodgepodge of a lot of stuff. There's just like a few things I don't like, like country and screamo and death metal. Those are about it, though. Mm -hmm. Orlon, you say you love the Black Keys, right? Yes. 
Because not just because I like the sound of their music, but like also because Dan Arbach himself is a very well accomplished artist. So that he he has like pictures. He's like pictures like in Epstein Island and stuff. Right? Say that that there was a bunch of like photographs of Epstein and and the guy from Black Keys. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> them shaking hands like Adolf Hitler and Winston Churchill. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Would that upset you if you saw if you saw your favorite musician shaking hands with Epstein? I mean, it's it's not unexpected. There's a lot of famous people that went there. It's true. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like everybody, like talks about, like, oh, look at look at this famous person who went on the plane. It's like I don't. I don't think they were all fucking kids. It's possible that he just flew them out there, and they did not fuck kids. But then again, the ones that did fuck kids are probably saying the same thing I'm just saying right now. <laughs> I, mean, I honestly don't think that. Come on, it's right here. I don't think that Jeffrey Epstein is a. Uh, Blues Rock fan. Epstein. No, oh, Epstein was more into uh, like Jimmy Buffett and shit. Sure. Whatever the fuck that is. You know Jimmy Buffett? No, we don't know any internet people. He's a musician. <laughs> not internet people. <laughs> you know all the internet people. He's not an internet person. He's old as hell. I mean, I think he's, I think he's dead now, actually. And he, yeah, and then Jeffrey Epstein dug up his body from his grave and then took him to his island. Epstein is dead too. They killed all the pedophiles. <laughs> they killed all the pedophiles that can talk about it. But uh, no, Jimmy Buffett's like a. Uh, he just makes like pop music, but it's mostly like geared towards uh, like older. Oh. <laughs> so why do you want to shit on Bordelon? For all the reasons we discussed so far. <laughs> he always shits on me. What do you mean? <laughs> because I, this is not new. You you get a rise of me out of me like nobody else, Bordelon. What are you talking about? I just need to. I need. I need to go. We need to go meet up and have sex. I think so I could get all this frustration at you out of me. <laughs> You're trying to hate me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I need a hate fuck you once so I could so I could relax. <laughs> I don't get the concept of hate fucking. You, you know what I I thought would be an in- interesting ritual that I've started doing. Mm-hmm. I so you know like nicotine is an uh, addictive chemical, right? Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes the vape fluid from my vape uh, it'll like leak out a little bit of the tip, so I. Kind of just rub it on my lips. And I think that, like, so that way, in case a girl ever kisses me, if, uh, which will probably never happen, I uh, I think that, like, what she does, all that vape fluid will make her addicted to kissing me. It leaks a little bit out of the tip and you rub it on your lips. Yes. I like, it's more penis. likely she's going to think your lips taste like fucking nicotine. Out. <laughs> no, it'll taste like uh, what, whatever the flavor was <laughs> blue raspberry or whatever the fuck. Blue raspberry. I what the fuck? Hold on, let me pour it out. Out. Blueberry, raspberry, what? Lemon ice. Okay. I I guess there's yeah, I guess there's three fucking flavors in there. And it's in ice. Oh yeah, it's my birthday today. Did I mention that? You did not. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm 25, Warlon. I'm catching up to you. Stop aging. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I mean, good luck. Good luck. The second you reach 26, I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no one can beat me. Quarter, a quarter of a century, dude. I'm going to try to live toward, I'm going to try to live until I'm 503. 
by death. That's my death date. Five hundred years. And what do you what do you think that will accomplish? Nothing. I just be a burden on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be interesting though. If we live for five hundred years. Everything would be different, dude. We would be eating out of eating out of uh, troughs and uh, drinking mud and licking assholes and like have have like so horrible horrible tumors and cancer all over their bodies because <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be dead in five hundred years, I think. The way the way the world's going right now, it feels like we're close to World War Three. Now flip. We're on the cusp of what? it, oh, and Borlon's yeah. gonna be fighting for us. Yeah, that you know how many times I get that at work. <laughs> what? That's gonna be World War Three. You're gonna go fight. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get drafted. I'm I'm gonna get deployed. I'm gonna I'm gonna do all this fucking fighting. I'm gonna die. You know how many times I got told while I was in high school I was gonna be the first one to die in boot camp. Like the, people really think they know everything about the military and all the politics, and they look at me and they're like, "You're gonna be the first one to go down." I'm like, "You have literally no idea what's going on." I've been told several times I'm gonna be deployed, and I, it never happens. Never know, Borlon. I, oh my God, it's like I do know, and I, it never happens. I'm telling you, it doesn't. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, but you weren't a, you weren't in the military during fucking the height of Iraq. I was literally in the military during Ukraine, and everyone's like, "Oh, you're, you're going to get deployed." No, they were. We were never going to get deployed. But I do think, honestly, it, it seems more likely now that it's Ukraine and now also Israel and Palestine. A little bit of Iran. <laughs> God, like if Iran really... chooses to 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 declare war on Israel. And then we would have to, we would have to, had to be de uh -huh. deploy in, right? And uh, yeah, uh -huh. then the if the Russians ever decide to like, oh, we have to deploy here too, which I doubt they would because I'm asking you. <laughs> Damn it! They're getting their ass beating Ukraine and they're bombing their own people, their own generals, and they're blaming it on Ukrainians. <laughs> Allegedly. Just before before everybody gets angry in the comments, allegedly, we don't actually know. Borlon, count to five, but do do it incorrectly to prove it's stupid. One five, <laughs> asshole. Orange banana. Mm hmm. Jesus yeah, don't let us influence with your thoughts on on the wars. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. Love me. Anyways, I think World War Three will happen soon. Maybe not. In, maybe maybe not like in the next ten years or something. Unless something incredible happens, <laughs> something insane. Oh, but uh, I think it's more likely for people that are a bit young. Wrong button. Uh. But do you think the world oh would end if that happens? For what? World War Three. Do you think it would the world would end? Uh, no. I think that it would change. I think the world would change. It change a lot of things, but I don't think it would end the entire world. It doesn't seem likely. Uh, yeah, like I said, you never know about the future. It takes one psycho to to do something insane. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! It's like about uh, Elden Ring. Oh yeah. They need more uh, in-game purchases. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, remember, remember that that one time we talked about it. I don't remember. I remember we talked about yeah that the Ubisoft, <laughs> the Ubisoft tweet where it's like this has, it's like obviously 
since Elden Ring is so good, but it has no UI, people don't, don't even care about good UI. And so <laughs> we did them with that UI picture of Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah that was what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember now. I didn't mention it because I've, I've been playing it again. Some friends. You got that Elden Ring multiplayer mod that makes Elden Ring multiplayer actually good where you can play with your friends. Oh my no 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 no! Honestly, after after like Dark Souls one, two they they kind of uh, I mean two is multiplayer fucking horror, but after Dark Souls one the multiplayer oh, multiplayer uh, design is so flawed now because they wanted yeah. they wanted to feel like Dark Souls one right where like you like get help from random people for bosses and stuff. But they like changed the PvP. Especially in Elden Ring. It's so bad in fun. God. PvC, PvP is terrible at Elden Ring. I feel like it was always terrible. No, Dark Souls 1, it was fun because it was like, oh, if you have a if if you're human, if you're not beef jerky, right? Get your yours a chance you can get in, invaded, right? That was cool. Yeah. That was cool. It's like, oh, it's like, oh shit! If I don't want to be invaded, I just have to stay as a jerky, right? Or if you do want to get invaded, then you take a humanity. And it was a no, a little. It was a little annoying because it reduces your health like ten percent. Not, but it's not that big of a. All right, so I'm gonna say this for Tony Hawk Pro Skater. When I installed the game and started it up. It said that it's better to be played on controller. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, honestly, it's starting to feel that way because of the way my brain works. I don't have... I don't, I don't know what the fuck to call it, but it, it's like... It, have you ever felt like whenever you are about to immediately press something, your, your other arm acts up? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's how it feels. It's it's a problem for me right now because um, other tricks. So the the arrow keys control how other like which trick you do. The WASD controls which direction you're going to do it in. And every single time I hit the down arrow, it makes me transition to another pipe, and I fucking eat shit every fucking time. That happens to me with um with drawing. Like, I've been drawing on the computer for a long time now, right? So whenever I go back to my sketchbook, like on, on pen and paper, right? I, I find myself, when I make a mistake, I want, like, my first impulse is to press Control z <laughs> right? <laughs> but I'm like, oh, shit, I'm not, on, I'm not on, on my computer. I have to actually erase it now. <laughs> yeah. Pretty funny. I kind of want to get a tablet, like a screen tablet. Yeah. Because although I really like this tablet I have right now, I, I kind of want to try to see if, if I can improve better with a screen tablet. Since it's so, so much- do you have an actual computer or like just a laptop? I have a real computer. Um, XP Pin has an amazing tablet. You hook it up to your computer via an HDMI cable, and it's basically a second monitor although your computer will transfer directly to it and you can do everything that you can on your computer through it but also be able to draw just like it would be a regular tablet um a lot of people say that the Huion uh Huion graphic tablets are pretty cool I have a right now I have like a, a non graphic tablet from Galmon right which is like some Korean company, and honestly, their their tab their their non graphic tablets are really good. I think I would I would I would love to be sponsored by these guys because I swear by these by these tablets. I've had two of them so far. One from the, one of the old uh, regular medium tablet, and then now I have. So a I own an XP Pen um, tableted screen. Uh, well, it's a screened tablet. Um, it comes with a pen that stores its tips inside of it. 
Comes with like six extra tips, not including the one in it. Comes with a glove. Um, and it comes with a charging station for your pen. Oh, I hate that though. Wait, I can't remember if I got. I can't remember if I've got the model that charges your pen, or you don't need to charge your pen, because there were two of them. Um, and it's just been a really long time since I've used it. But it is an amazing tablet. It's got like programmable buttons on it. They do come pre-programmed, but I be do believe you can change them. Hmm, interesting. One thing I don't like is the because that's the reason I got another Galmon tablet, a pro version. Basically, it's basically the same version I had last time, which is the uh, M106K, I think. I got the pro version of that just because the pen doesn't have to be charged. And also, it has a better pressure. Some better pressure levels compared to the regular version. But yeah, dude, this, this, this tablet's fucking bad ass. I need to bring this later. And you don't have to charge the pen, which I like a lot because it's so annoying when you. So many times, like I would go to sit down to draw, and then it's like, oh, my pen's fucking dead. And I have to do something else for an hour. <laughs> but it's pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. Go buy Galmon. Here, here's how you spell it. Go, go buy Game Man. How dare you disparage Galmon? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's very inexpensive. I think this one is like $80, the one I'm using. By the way, Rodney Mullen is in this game. Yeah, Rodney Mullen is like like a real pioneer of skateboarding. He's like the first one to like do like a tray flip and shit. Like he invented a bunch of tricks. And like dark slides, it's fucking cool. Yeah, you know Tony Hawk is more like, is more of the vert skater, right? Where he goes into the, the air, goes in the air and does stuff, you know. I know it's something. Shut up! Stop talking to him. Ooh. Shut that bitch up. Oh, she told her shut up and stop yeah. talking. <laughs> <We tell them. laughs> Borlon, tell him to shut up. <laughs> Borlon, you should tell them whether or not they like HBOCs. What I just posted is the one that I have. I've heard of XB Pen. Um, do you want to just buy for my birthday? You want to just buy me a uh, a Cintiq? <laughs> want to just buy Listen, me a two thousand dollars Cintiq? Children, I'm broke, broke. <laughs> just buy me a big. I hate that Wacom overprices so many of their tablets now. Yeah, Wacom does overprice, and they're not even giving out the quality to dignify the the price that they're putting on it. Is it it's terrible? I had a low. It's expensive. Five hundred bucks. Still a yeah, quarter of a price. They do have of some expensive ones. Is that still a quarter of a price of fucking Wacom? Which is funny because they Wacom like claims that they're the best and like the the fucking industry standard for for even just non-graphic tablets right which is completely untrue there are so many companies now that are equivalent or even better uh quality to them it's like why are you guys still charging like literally dude um like my tablet right it's like a it would be like a medium tablet. i forget how actually how many inches it is but um, the equivalent of my tablet to Wacom's would be like 200 bucks. Wow. And for the identical pressure levels, less fucking um, buttons on the side, and, and the same sort of like pen that doesn't have to be uh, charged. And mine is $80 and theirs is $200. 
And I've used that. I've used their tablet before, so I know what I'm talking about. And honestly, it, it feels no different between the Galmon and the, and the Wacom tablets. Makes me sick. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> they, can, they can no longer claim to be the industry standard. They suck. I will say that one thing that's nice about the XP pins is when you buy one of their tablets, um, it comes with not only the regular plug that comes standard, it comes with, instead of just one cord and the plug to go in the outlet, it comes with a USB cord that attaches to any plug that you need. So if you were traveling to another country that uses a different plug style from us, you have all of them available. I just thought that was pretty neat. It also comes with like a stand that you can set it up on so that it's not just laying flat. And a few other things I just can't quite remember. It's been a while since I bought mine. The thing I... I kind of... I don't know if I want like a big screen tablet or if just like a like a medium-sized one because I kind of like drawing on my lap. Um, The one I have fits in my lap pretty easily. Um, It's not huge. Um, whenever I get the chance, I'll go dig it out of my closet and send you a picture of it. Um, give it to me. <laughs> um, Maybe. To I me. don't use it. I would just have to find the pen and the cord. I mean, I, mean, I don't use it at all. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to XB pens, warehouses, and steel, I think. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this 4K resolution for the most expensive product. That's pretty and good resolution. This, this one is $900. My bad. It's just on sale. Oh, wow. But just, that's pretty expensive, but it's still half the price of fucking. Uh. Wacom. Which yeah. tells you that they're. Wacom's like Apple, basically. They charge double, and the quality is not even any better than so. You're basically playing. You're basically just paying for the prestige of the brand. Oh. Yeah, so fucking deck, dude. But let me go see if Gal. I think Galmon has. Graphic tablets, but I don't know if they're any. Oh. Well, please. I mean, you can always check out the reviews. You could uh, take the risk and try one out yourself. Galmon, please send me a free graphics tablet so I can review it. <laughs> send me, uh, me the. Fuck up. The PD-1161, uh, that's perfect. Perfect size for me. Body. Link it. You know what I want? A dick in your mouth? I want... I want... A want. <laughs> full... A full functional operating Art. VR kit. Oh, that would be cool too. Yeah, so I'm sure you've seen the treadmill one, like the treadmill piece. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, no. Oh, that one's actually about the size of the one I have, maybe just slightly larger. Where you're just running in place, and it looks like looks like a baby crib. Oh, I don't know if you want that though. Not that no, I don't actually don't want that one. I thought that one looked funny as hell. No, there's one where it's just it looks like it's half of a sphere and you're just running in place. That one I want with some body trackers, and I want a haptic suit. <laughs> there's some woman who did that. She got like a haptic suit and like made like a program to interact with her, with her haptic suit in Skyrim, and she has like AI voice. She has like she like used the AI. To like respond to her through like uh through the game, so like she'll like walk up to a white run guard and go like, "Hey, what are you doing around here?" And like he'll respond with like AI voice, <laughs> like as the white run guard. That's yeah. pretty cool. 
but she is a little cringe. But what she did is cool. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's why I want to. I want to be able to experience that. How about when you're in VR but, Skyrim? But I feel like if I put a haptic, I think about trash. Uh, I uh, I think I'm good now. My car just get it a little bit. Um, I feel like if I get into a PvP match with a haptic suit on, people will find out, and my own team will start fucking attacking me because they like the idea of attacking someone in their home without being there. I feel like he's gonna play Baldur's Gate and try to seduce someone. You no, know we could do. You, you could get the VR, the VR suit, or, or not the VR, the VR uh, headset, right? Little things. Yes. And while you're playing, if you get shot, I shoot you in the chest with a paintball gun, <laughs> and I fr I'll freeze the bullets there, too, there, so they hurt. <laughs> there, there was a there was a guy who set up. I don't know why he did it. But he set up a recoil kit where, like, a fucking metal bar will press against his shoulder every time he takes a shot on CSGO. And, it, it, and then he would fire the P90, and it just kept punching him in the shoulder. <laughs> and at one point, he fired an op, and it knocked him out of the chair. <laughs> it fucking blew him away. It was so... Yeah. That's cool. I think there was... There was one guy who set up an entire fucking system to emulate all the effects of the weapons, and then somebody threw a flashbang in front of him, and it blinded him in real life. <laughs> because the flashbang went off in his room. <laughs> like, it, it, like, I think his room almost caught on fire. Jesus. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send so the, the link to my actual uh, tablet. I want to go look at that Genesis. That's the one I'm using. Let's see. Yeah, I'll swear by this this tablet. This is great. Yeah, so this is similar to the one I have. You plug it into your computer, except um, your screen will... So, unless you're... Huh? Hello? Oops, I'm sorry. I'm stupid and forgot to press push to talk. <laughs> so with mine, it's like, uh, just like that one, except with if you don't have two HDMI ports on your graphics card, um, you will have to choose in between your monitor and your drawing tablet and that's the only thing that is kind of eh for me because my graphics card doesn't have two hdmi ports it has two other ports that i could use they just have a different they're just a different style than hdmi yeah it's like a display port and like a third one right I'll have to ask my husband specifically which ones they are, but like a, one of them is a different shape from the HDMI cord, and then I think one one's big. My my graphics card has yeah, it's probably a Display Port, unless it's super old and has a VGA cable for some reason. It's not super old, but it's certainly not the newest. It has ray tracing. So what is it? What do you use? I'll have to look. I can't exactly remember. My my tab, my my graphics card has uh, the extra slots for it. But I use I use a Display Port for my main screen and HDMI cable for an HDMI two VGA for my other monitor that's old as hell. But it works. That's all I need it for. I, so for I the can... life of me, cannot remember the website where you can buy electronics or computer parts and stuff. Newegg? I bought my shit from Newegg. Yeah, that's it. Newegg is a nice uh, place. It's like if Amazon was actually good at sending you the right products. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I'm still trying to figure out how to sell off my uh, new laptop that was supposed to be better than my old one. You might have better chances like on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something. Maybe. Amazon's terrible. Okay, I have that AS Rock Radeon RX 6800. Phantom oh. Gaming D gaming graphics card with 16 gigabytes of DDR6. Radeon RX 6800. You have the AMD then. So my graphics card is AMD, but uh, and so is my motherboard, but my chipset is Intel. I'm about to get into a car wreck. My yeah, my 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 motherboard and CPU are AMD, but my graphics card is. So for my uh, motherboard, I've got the Asus ROG Strix Z six six hundred and ninety, and I have the Intel Core i five. Do the run run a Linux on your system button. <laughs> I have Windows eleven. Why are you running Windows eleven, dude? Go back to Windows ten. Windows Go back to ten. Go back to seven if you're based. And want to. <laughs> My husband is based, and he would go to. I can't remember the one of it. Um. XP. Yeah, XP. That's it. <laughs> that's not big. XP was terrible. Switch, <laughs> he, switch, he switch to Mac OS. <laughs> Tell him to switch to Linux. Arch, by the way. <laughs> Um, I am a Corsair junkie though, so like my keyboard is Corsair, my mouse is Corsair, my headset used to be Corsair, my RAM and my computer is Corsair, um, my power supply is Corsair. I I think I might if I ever build another PC, like fully build a new one. I mean, not just upgrade parts. I would probably go. So, so this computer Linux. I fully built on my own last year. Because Linux drivers for NVIDIA are, are so bad, and it's all NVIDIA's fault too because they're bad at making making <laughs> drivers for for NVIDIA on Linux. It makes my asshole hurt. Um, I really yeah. like my Intel chipset. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm okay with like swapping parts, but like, I prefer the chips that Intel has. Why? I've just gotten better uh, for performance out of it. So, when you're not buying the newest things of today, um, AMD is for like prettier things, whereas Intel is more like get shit done. Hmm. But the things that are like newest of today are like pretty on par with each other, regardless of if it's AMD or Intel. Like there are a few minor differences, but for the most part, they're on the same uh, shelf. I say the the better thing about. Uh about AMD over Intel is the, the whole hyper threading with the multiple cores on AMD uh, AMD uh, CPUs I think I think AMD is, is more appealing to people who really like uh, what's the word what's that word where you where you put more power into the part overclocking I think AMD is more appealing to people who like to overclock and overcock? Yeah. Overcock and Intel is more to people who just want to buy they basically just want to get something that they paid for. Like, oh, it's this fast and it's this much more. You don't have to do anything with it. I I, I don't really mess with the overclocking. I just set it set it on that one. On the whatever oh. preset setting they had on there. I that's a that's not to the lot. But the hyper threading is cool and it does help with certain older games hyper threading can help a lot at least i found but sometimes it, it it's a detriment as well like stalker 
for some reason you have to disable a whole ass cord just so it could work. That's neither here. What kind of run crisis though? I could probably, I'd probably run crisis, yeah. I mean, I could run cyberpunk. I could probably run both of those. Yeah. Cyberpunk is the real challenge of today for operating systems. I run all of my stuff at Ultra whenever I play a game. I don't. I actually run things purposely uh, lower so I don't have to hear my PC heat up. <laughs> I run my things at Ultra and I never hear my PC heat up. My my is it's mostly my my dumbass CPU fan that came with this. Uh, I have a Ryzen seven, a thirty seven hundred X, I think. Mhm. And it came with like the super fancy CPU cooler, like it has LEDs and stuff. And I don't, I really don't give a shit about LEDs, <laughs> right? But uh, the way they labeled this, like, oh, this thing is super cool and it'll it'll cool your system, great. But they failed to mention that, hey, guess what? It's loud as shit. Maybe all that money they spent on LEDs, they could have spent on making it less fucking loud. <laughs> I have a lot of um, RGB in my PC already. Like, my RAM lights up, my graphics card lights up, my case lights up. So, therefore, whenever I chose my CPU cooler, I went with the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 CPU air cooler. Um, mm, it is have, super quiet. quiet it makes <laughs> no fucking noise. Like my computer is so quiet. When I first installed them, I had to keep checking if they were even on. I was like, "Holy shit, dude!" <laughs> yeah, and they're just blackout too. So like, I, it doesn't clash with anything else on my computer as well. I hate LED stuff, to be honest. Like, it, like when you're in your dark room. And like you just have like those bright fucking LEDs in your face, it annoys the crap out of me. Like the only thing that should be LED is maybe your your keyboard, if you have to keep looking down to find a key, right? When you're playing a game, it's like, oh, where's the fucking O? That's that. Then it's okay. But like anything else, dude, it pisses me off. Like I don't want to be blinded. <laughs> I turn everything off. My mouse has LEDs in it. I turn that shit off. <laughs> That's just me. I, I, I prefer, like the pretty RGBs. I prefer stealth. If I could, I would. I would. I would mount my whole PC into my desk, so I never have to look at it, <laughs> like that one guy did. Did you see that? No. Some guy built like a wooden desk, and like he like had like a bunch of like, copper pipes going throughout the entire desk to like water cool his entire system. Oh, nice. So yeah, all you see when you go to his is just a, a monitor hooked up to the back of his desk, and that's it. No tower or anything. Looks fucking cool. <laughs> I would love to have one of those. That'd be badass. And the temps were good too because the sucking air from the bottom of the desk. Sucking air. For the radiators. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't. I hate LED stuff. It's like it's like the equivalent of like of like gold plating shit, you know. It's so gaudy and and with the top, it's like you don't need that. And um, <laughs> I know because currently currently we still have my old computer. Um, it's just not fully put together. So what we're probably gonna end up doing is cause I think all it needs is a um. Is memory so not even not RAM memory but like storage oh. memory so what we're probably gonna do is we're going to probably buy some storage for it and then put it back together and let it be the computer the kids learn on because it's got DDR3 it's gonna be basically useless soon I have DDR3. because <laughs> oh <laughs> the they're pushing DDR3 out of the win out of the door um so last year, whenever me and my husband, my husband upgraded his computer. I fully rebuilt mine. Um, I went with DDR5 because once they pushed the DDR3 out of the door, they're going to be coming in with DDR6. Yeah, like in two, uh, 2025, I think, is going to be full. 2024, DDR6 is going to be like 
tested basically. Releasing some sticks for people to test them test on. And then after a year they're gonna release the of a different line of DDR6. Do you know what we're talking about, Borlon? Or are you just like thinking we're gay nerds? I, I'm afraid to start talking because I don't know what area I'm driving is a dead zone. <laughs> that one. But that one. But I, I, know, I know the DDRs are rammed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know because like I, I ended up finding that out after I bought the new laptop and I thought that I could just replace the RAM, but I mis mistaken uh, the size of them. Yeah, laptop RAM is different from PC RAM. I'm, I'm gonna, aware now. I'm going to be using this PC until it dies, basically, which hopefully is not soon. <laughs> well, I know come this tax season, just depending, we're debating about getting a new vehicle, but if we don't, I might upgrade my chip to the i9 instead of the i5 which is what i have i would have to replace my motherboard i wanted a fucking i9 for that new laptop I'd have to replace I, my I motherboard swear. and my cpu i swear when i bought the laptop it said on the description that it had an i9 when i look i always I, recommend that whenever you're gonna upgrade your motherboard I, you I, just I, go ahead and upgrade fine. your chipset um sorry for getting off i'm bad about that yeah, oh, I thought I was in a dead zone. I was like, oh, I guess they can't hear me. No, I'm just notoriously bad about it. Uh, if my husband ever comes on the podcast, he can tell you exactly how bad I am about cutting people off, specifically him. That's when he slices your face, right, with broken glass. <laughs> yeah, he, he rubs sandpaper above your face. Shut up! <laughs> he cuts your lip. <laughs> Anyways, what were you saying, Borla? You were saying that your your CPU had the the wrong one in it yeah it, i looked at the specs when i received it and i i was like why is this shit running so slow it should be running on an i9 i looked at it and it was i7 i was like what the fuck just happened that's so common that's false advertising you should sue them for that <laughs> the i7 is still Amazon. really good and still really prominent today because i'm running the it i5 sucks. and i run everything on ultra there was something else going on that was causing it to suck in addition to what, it, what well, games it, are you it might have also, also been, it might have also been the RAM because I thought I could replace the RAM easily, but I mis mistook the the RAM size. And I was like, and then I found out I couldn't easily take out the RAM sticks because I needed a whole fucking PC toolkit just for it. Even though for the one, the, my old one, I was using a Gerber just to fucking take shit out. I mean, some brands just hate when people open their products open. Like oh you voided the you void the warranty because you opened the bag. Say what? <laughs> yeah. So stupid. Xbox is like that. I think PlayStation is too. It's even worse. I think it's worse with PlayStation because the way they have the vents set up, you have to open it properly. Yep. But uh, yeah. I, I hate when I mean Apple's the one that's really bad with it with the right to repair stuff and shit. But they're like, no, you have to buy a whole new one because you're not allowed to replace a dead battery because you're stupid. <laughs> even if the guy who even if like some guy, someone knows exactly what they're doing, somehow it's evil for them to op dare to open the back of their phones to replace a dead battery. Which used to be common, remember, like older phones, you just could take the back off. And if you had an yeah, extra battery, you could just straight up slot it in. So now you have you have two two battery lights worth of uh, for your phone. Or you, you just get a Nokia, and now you not only have a phone, but you also have a weapon. Mm -hmm. You know they still make Nokias today. I would buy one. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that's, that's the funniest thing is that because they got so much advertising for those little fucking Nokia phones because everyone memed about them being so fucking hard to break. It, it was hilarious. I'm about to crash. I can't see shit with all these Xenon lights. To be honest, when Samsung decided to remove the fucking the audio jack, like even though they, even like a year prior, they said, oh, we're not going to do that. Apple's, that Apple's stupid. pissed me off. And then they did it anyways. 
That's so dumb and lame. <laughs> Portland, whenever you're having issues seeing at night because of people's headlights, you look down at the lines. It helps a lot. I can't see the lines. No, you're, you're supposed to um, drive you're directly supposed towards to... the lights. Fast as you, can. Yeah, you look down the in front, right directly in front of your hood. And you look the at the lines. You're supposed to pull your gun out and start shooting in the air randomly. Yep. <laughs> hey now, I remember in the south. I remember hey, when I had I, I had to turn on my headlights one time because my or like my 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 brights. I had to turn on my brights because my normal headlights, one of them broke. So and I I got pulled over for that one time. So I I learned that if I just turn on my headlights until I can replace the main ones or turn on my brights before I can replace the headlights, uh, I won't get pulled over. But then everybody saw that as an offense. Like I was trying to blind them. So they all kept flashing me. I was like, bro, I'm I'm just trying to see and not get pulled over. Well, you pull your gun right. out and just point it at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, he is in the South, Genesis. Don't you remember he's in Texas? Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, I think all the... I think all three of us are in the South technically, because I'm in Southern California. California yeah. doesn't count. I, I'm where all the people are. Oh no. I think it counts. We're closer. I'm close to Mexico. Uh, huh? I'm closer. In Mexico, you're in El Paso, right? <laughs> no, that's that. That's where that's that's where she who shall not be named is. I went to El Paso once, and it was awful. <laughs> I hear it is. It's, it's, I hear it's terrible. It's just constant drive-bys every night. It's more like constant fucking heat waves and flies. Terrible. And roaches the size of fucking potatoes. <laughs> and the big fence. You can see the big fence from where, wherever you are. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I remember seeing, yeah, I remember seeing the Mexican <laughs> flag being like really fucking huge. <laughs> it's a skyscraper's worth of a Mexican flag. Yeah. <laughs> it was huge. That's cool. I saw the big the fence, bird the big brown fence across the desert. Yeah, I saw, I saw the I saw the fence and like one ladder on both ends of it. You don't have to build it; you just cut through it. <laughs> Not like it's electrified. <laughs> I remember when my parents drove uh, drove by it. We actually did see Border Patrol driving into like a little gutter area like near the fence and like they immediately caught somebody and were like oh wow look it happens every fucking day oh. it was funny my uh, abuela we had them with us my my hispanic grandparents and um we had to go through a checkpoint going back home because there's another one on the way back and our my dad my stepdad who's also mexican he said that when, when we get to this checkpoint they're going to ask everybody where they're from and then we all have to say american citizen and uh, my boyla didn't understand this she so whenever he asked this the the agent asked he's like where's everyone from and then she goes senior citizen <laughs> and he's like shut up shut the hell up mexican shut up get down the ground <laughs> <laughs> he says, yeah he, he didn't hear her he hits her in the head Get down on the ground, fucking. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I mean. You know what it, you know yeah. what I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, she, she she's so sweet. <laughs> she show she always she always sees me. She goes, oh, 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 oh Harold. Why are you white? What the what happened to this one? You cheated. Oh no! Starts tearing up. Mm hmm. A bloodline. Eat, eat more food, mijo. Eh, it's hard to mistake me for anyone else's kid. Both of my parents were ginger. What if I told you I'm part black? Oh, dude, you both, they're both ginger? Yes. <laughs> I was cursed to have a red was... hair. And they both happen to have blue eyes, too, so. That's what oh. we should have said, Genesis. Superpower was it was like she's ginger. That's it. That's her superpower. She's just a ginger. 
What are the odds that two gingers like each other? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Not that uncommon. Likes tend to attract. You think so? I think if I was ginger, I, mean, I would clearly. want to, I, If I was ginger, I would want a non-ginger, I think. So gingers flock to each other because they're so rare that they're trying to create more. Trying to, trying to assault our senses with, with their genetics. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds too. You that sounds so uncomfortable. Natural uncom red hair doesn't look good. Guys. Nick Fuentes just just came. His soul came inside of me for a second there. My bad. <laughs> How long have we been recording? <laughs> it's eight twenty eight for me. So for it's been almost oh, yeah, an hour got, and a half. Yeah, we got like. Well, I just got home. Or no, five minutes left. What am I talking about? I'll just set the rest of this in my car. Quick, think of a topic, quick! <laughs> um. Well, let's not talk I, about Argus's erectile dysfunction. I. Oh no. Let's not talk about that. Um. When I. I live with some black roommates. Uh. I think you the, talked about this before. Well, I didn't mention the part where the girl was a cocktail waitress at a strip club that only had black strippers. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and I had to, I, I practically was a frequent customer there at that at some point. That's weird, bro. <laughs> well, yeah. That was fun. So you kept, they got pissed at me. You kept buying strippers. And she worked there. She would so she would see you getting like lap dances. Yes. No wonder. No wonder they shit on you. <laughs> That's weird yeah. as hell, Morlon. Well, no, <laughs> At I, least go I to a different drive. one. <laughs> no, you got to go to hers. I had to go there because I was a driver. You didn't have to go nowhere. You didn't have to go inside. <laughs> I had to be there to pick her up. And drop her so off. You just decided you were gonna go in while you waited for her <laughs> yeah, and get some could, action. You could have gone to get a burger or something. Might as well. <laughs> could have got some ice cream. <laughs> you had to go inside. She, pro and pay she for probably thought you were scum. Yeah, paying for strippers, like her ride home. What the hell? <laughs> the first day I showed up, she was like, "Yeah, come inside and enjoy yourself." I was like, "Okay," and that's just how it ended up happening. Yeah, it's like it's, yeah, but every now and then, not like all the time. <laughs> That's boy was weird. probably walking out of there with a stiffy for the stars. <laughs> he's like, did you? He's like, yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? Because I'm fucking waiting to leave. <laughs> You're fucking weird, boy. Did they ever take you to the VIP room? Yeah, you saw. Did. He's like, times. he's like, hey, hey, Borlon, um, your pants are like pussy right now. It's really bothering me. <laughs> Can we just get home fast? <laughs> he's like sweaty pussy. <laughs> Can we please go home? Yeah. <laughs> the hell! I uh, can see it. it ha just has a little snail trail down his leg. I think it'd be weird even if it wasn't a strip club. If it was anywhere, it'd be like like if it was like a Denny's, it'd be weird if he constantly went in there to eat. <laughs> like, come on, man! <laughs> Thanks for the ride, but still, what the fuck? <laughs> Not to hang out. <laughs> Anyways, that's funny though. I like that, I like that you were you were uh, asserting your dominance there. <laughs> over what her. dominance? He was probably the, the, the one, pretty the little thin boy, guy, just yeah. sitting there like, uh, uh, what do I do? The one white guy in a full black strip club. Mm -hmm. And you're like, and you're like, you're not gonna go home yet. I'm getting a lap. I don't care that your shift is over. Go wait in the car if you want. <laughs> <laughs> No, she actually left when the, the club closed, so... Huh, I wonder why it closed. So why were you there so early? <laughs> At... Because I had to drop her off! What what part of, I'm the driver, did you not understand? Oh, oh, drop, I thought you meant, like, pick her up. Yeah, both! I was, I was the only one in that apartment that had a car. You drop her off, go in the strip club, get a boner, and then you take her home? <laughs> Yes. Did it ever go farther? Did she think you were weird? 
Well, it's funny because every single fucking time she would be like, we need to go out and have fun, but we also need to save money. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm the only one here with a car. I don't think we should be having fun, but if you want to, fine. And then they blamed everything on me. One time she got so fucking drunk at a karaoke bar and we hung out with Santa. It was, it was just a, an old white guy who served in the Marine Corps and he just looked like Santa. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and, and, and she was so fucking wasted that I had to, once again, drive her home. But, like, she kept trying to steal my car from me. Huh. I once had a friend barf all over a, uh, a Buffalo Wild Wings. Not Buffalo Wild Wings. It was a wing stop. Uh, and he also, he, my, my friend's little brother bought, like, fries for himself, right? And then, like, it was weird because he was, like, drunk, like, at 6 p.m., like, fucking fucked up drunk, right? He was, like, drinking before we went out. And then, uh, yeah, his, my, my my friend's little brother had fries. And then my friend grabbed a big, mighty fist of his fries and started eating it. And my friend's little brother looked so angry. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, uh, I'd be angry, too. We had to, like, apologize for him. Well, like, sorry, man, he's fucking drunk for some reason. And then, like, he's like, hold on, I, I feel sick. And he walked out to the front, front door, started vomiting profusely into, like, a plant outside. And then, we, and then my friend took him home. <laughs> it's very weird. <laughs> and then they did butt stuff. No. So, he said that when he took him home, his dad was there, right? Like, he answered the door. And when his dad opened the door, like, because he was, like, leaning on him, right? Like, he was picking him up. <laughs> and he said when his dad opened the door, my friend looked up at his dad. And he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, he was in big trouble. <laughs> but, yeah, that was a weird day. And then we, and then we didn't even end up doing anything. Because after we took him home, we all just went home. Damn. <laughs> yep. But uh, that, that night was funny, though. I remember one guy trying to, like, get my female roommate in his van just because she was drunk. Yep. And, yeah, everybody came out trying to help us and shit. It was weird. You pulled your gun out, right? And then, and then <laughs> yeah, then, then we went home and then bad stuff happened. You pulled your gun out on her? No, she tried to hook up with me, even though she was in a relationship with the, with the guy at the, the house. Then she pulled a gun out on you. The fuck are you talking about? Anyways, that's the end of the podcast, the everybody. The gun was in her pants. That's the end of the podcast, everyone. Basically, if you think that woman was a fuda, and then she pulled out her pistol, quote unquote, on Borlon, leave it in the comments below. See you, everybody. Bye.